Hi, friends, SAP users, super users, consultants, experts, and of course, all those who want to um, actually know more about SAP S4 HANA. You're welcome to another training session. Um, this is your SAP S4 HANA FICU consultant, Kilich Kelly Azele. And um, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have lots of um, um, videos on trainings we have done on a lot of concepts in SAP S4 HANA. Uh, subscribe and like and share wherever you find this video. The essence of this training is to share knowledge and improve understanding. All right, for today, we're going to be looking at a very, very important topic for especially SAP functional consultants. Um, we're going to be looking at the introduction to data migration using, of course, migration tools, uh, LTMC and LTMware. Now, basically, um, the success of every project would is tied to this particular activity because um, during the realized phase of the SAP S1 activate methodology, um, you have to, for the project to be realized, you have to be able to migrate legacy data from legacy systems or from a lower version of SAP, let's say ECC, to SAP S4 HANA, right? And it's important that um, you, before actually migrating, the essence of this course is to let you know more about data migration functionality um, that is new or that has been introduced in SCP S4 HANA. Remember previously in ACC, there was a migration platform, LSMW, but in S4 HANA, this course will just expose you to what the, what the new functionality is, what are the expectations, when you want to do data migration, especially for the functional consultants, um, what do you need to do before you migrate data? Because it's a very, very important activity. And of course, it's pre-go live. So once data is migrated for both transactional data and master data and every data that, is, that the, the users will need to be able to carry out transactions, then you can go live, right? So it's, it's a key process in the realization, realization phase of your project. So let's go into this introduction. Let's go into the system, see what LTMC and LTMOM is all about, and understand this concept, and know what we need to have in place before we migrate our data. And of course, um, check out these activities in the SAP S4 HALA system, right? All right, so come with me. Now, what is data migration? Um, this is just an introductory concept um, to really give us that. Remember, this is to improve knowledge, right? So if you're really carrying out these activities, this course will just help you understand, in case you didn't have time to go through these basic concepts, just help you improve understanding of the concept. So if you're new, then kudos, this is very, very important for you. Data migration is a process of transferring data between computer storage types or file formats, right? This is just a general um, definition. So um, data is existing somewhere and you want to move the legacy data, what we call legacy data, like the, the, the data from the main source to another source or to another platform or using, of course, the, the platform that is receiving that data, you have to migrate using the formats that form can accept. Right, so that's the idea. You might need to transfer data from hardware to cloud-based systems or from legacy systems or non-SAP systems to an SAP system, or upgrade from an older SAP format or software to the newest SAP S4 HANA system. When we are implementing SAP S4 HANA solutions, we can migrate our master data and business data from SAP system or non-SAP system to SAP S4 HANA. Right, so that functionality is existing in the SAP S1 system. So you can migrate data. Now, just imagine you want to create a thousand customers and as an end user, you're doing it one after the other. Like you're putting the, the, all the basic information about that customer 
one by one, it will take you months to actually finish up to 5,000 customers. So the essence of this is how do you bring in large information? And of course, it saves time, it saves resources, it saves a lot of that. So how do we just migrate those data in bulk into another SAP system? Right. This, this video will actually um, give you an insight to that. Now, the process of migrating is achieved using the SAP S4HANA migration cockpit. Let's know more about that. Now, why, is, why data migration is important? Data migration is the most important part of any SAP project. Yeah, we have done the printing, we have you know, gone through all the phases. If you don't move the legacy data <laughs> from the legacy system to SAP S4HANA, there is no go live. So it's as good as not actually doing anything. Right? Whether it's rollout or implementation project or brownfield project, if data migration goes wrong, minimum cost slash benefit ratio will not be achieved by the business. Right? So it is core, it's important process. This will not this will not only lead to client frustration, dissatisfaction, but also unnecessary damage to not just SAP reputation, but the reputation of the company or client you're representing. So as an, as, as an, as an SAP S4 HANA functional consultant, it is key that you understand what the basics of data migration is. Um, of course, it's easy to just take you to NTMC, show you how to migrate, bring in data and all, but I mean, um, you need to understand why you're actually doing that. You need to understand how this is key or important to the success of your project. Now, proper planning and this controlled execution are key components for any successful data migration. So you need to know the steps, the plans, the processes that are put into migrating, not just about migrating, right? So one of the very new and you know functional uh, functionality that was introduced in the SAP S4 HANA finance space is the use of LTMC. NTMC is called Legacy Transfer Migration Cockpit, right? So in case you see it, LTMC means Legacy Transfer Migration Cockpit. In ECC, that's the previous version before SAP S4 HANA, we used to use LSMW to do data migration. LSMW is Legacy System Migration Workbench. Now, this tool was used you know, to upload data into the system. It consists of master data and transactional data. But we'll see the examples of those data as we move on. The LSMW functionality has been rendered redundant, although it's still available in the SAP S4 HANA system. Of course, if you log in and you know, go to LSMW, run LSMW in the T code. Um, let me see if I can do that briefly. So just say LSMW, right? So you're going to see, of course, I don't have this um, authorization for this system, but it's available within the SAP S4 HANA space. All right, so let's go back. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we have been advised to make use of the, of course, more robust and easier functionality called Legacy Transfer Migration Cockpit, LTMC. We no longer use LSMW in SAP s the LS, LTMC is, a, of course, is a legacy transformation cockpit. Um, it's a ready to use or already made um, templates. Um, these templates are available to upload data depending on the kind of data you want to upload. So nearly all master and transitional scenarios are covered in LTMC. Unlike LSMW, where you have to develop your template yourself. In LTMC, this we have prototypes, we have templates that when we develop, all you need to do is to provide the relevant information to enable the system create or upload your data. The SABS runner migration copy uses migration objects to identify and transfer the relevant data, right? It uses operation uh, migration objects. Um, for each of your templates, there are required objects that you need to provide um, information for the system to be able to do 
your data migration. A migration object describes how to migrate data from a specific business object to SAP S4 HANA. It contains information about the relevant source and target structure, as well as relationship between these structures. Of course, um, your source structure is the source of your data. Your target structure is the, of course, SCPS for HANA, where you want that source to reflect on. The impact of that source will be on your target structure. So it contains mapping information for relevant fields, as well as um, rules used to convert values that are migrated from source fields to target fields. SAP provides predefined migration objects that can use that you can use to transfer your data. So it does. I mean, SAP S4 HANA using LTMC has made life a little bit more easier when it comes to data migration. So why not make use of the templates that are available? Uh, of course, you can also discuss with your ABAP team if there is need for any enhancement of any of those templates. Now, another concept that is also key and important to your migration is LTM, LTMOM. It's called your migration, legacy transfer migration object modeler, right? Now let's actually know what it's about and how it can assist in data migration. The SAP S4 HANA migration object modeler is an application that is used to adjust the migration objects that are used in SAP S4 HANA migration cockpit. So it is used to adjust. So while MTNC is used to migrate the objects, if there are any objects that are not available within the LTMC template, the modeler can be used to adjust or you know, produce, you know, provide more information about the template. You can assess the SAP S4 HANA modeler using the T code LTMOM. So let's just test that. So you can go to your SAP S4 HANA. Of course, LTMC, depending on the module of SAP you're using, um, when you enter your LTMC, it's going to try to take you to the migration cockpit, which is most likely trying to connect to um, a new, uh, of course, a browser. So it's not embedded within the S4 HANA database. Um, it's actually carried out in, um, it's carried out within the SAP S4 HANA database in, a, in another uh, platform. So it's to try to connect to a browser from where you have to provide the information you need to do your data migration. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, my browser, it's not uh, bringing this up. I'm just going to go to Google Chrome. Sorry about that. Go to Google Chrome and paste the link. In case your browser can open that, it's fine. You don't need to do this. But if you have more updated browser platforms, you can copy the link and run that. While I wait this to happen, I'm going to go back to and try to run LTMOM, right? So this is what we call the migration object modeler, All right? So this is what it looks like. Um, so you have to actually select any of the projects that you are, before you actually do your modeler, you have to actually have created um, an object, a project within which you, you need to select or a project you want to modify, right? So the essence of this is actually to um, select that project and actually run, you know, do the adjustments. It could be that you want to add more tables so you can add, let me see if you just do this. I don't have a project yet that is about running, but the essence of this class, so you can, you know, put the project and search, it's going to search out the project and you can now start working on your project. Let me check if my, um, it's opening, so this is the login is being prepared. So let's go back to the training, and you know, as we wait for that to prepare to be ready. Now, in the SAP S4 migration cockpit, you can use templates that specify the relevant data for each migration object. Okay, so the templates have already now SAP has configured the template. The template has all the required fields. So let me say, for example, um. Okay, let me just do this.
Okay, so let's say you want to migrate um, customer master data or the vendor master data. Now, when you run, now you can see um, this field. Let me just search for this guy. Just um, do this. Now, when you're actually creating a single, um, when, you're, when you want to create a single transaction, there are fields that are required when you're creating those fields, right? Um, in a master data, you have to provide the name, the address, all these fields are required. Some of these fields are required depending on your configuration. Now, it's the same thing you would going to find when you're actually running your L LTMC. But now the, the migration, um, the platform, sorry about this. Now, the platform actually helps you to migrate data en masse. So you're going to see all the fields you see, you know, when you create, for example, you want to create a customer, provide a name, address, phone number, you're going to see all those fields within the customized, uh, the template that uh, LTMC is going to provide for you. But you know, it's on an Excel sheet, so you can, you can use it to migrate, you know, thousands of data like a whole lot instead of creating that one after the other that's just the unique difference right so that field comes in excel, uh, in an excel file and of course you are going to see the required fields that are going to have the asterisk sign so you have to provide all those required fields which are the same thing as the required fields when you're creating a single customer master data for example okay so um, the modeler has different areas. You know, we have the source data, which you're going to um, um, pick out. The source data is where you're there, the legacy data. You have the targeted structure um, to get an overview of the targeted associated with the migration object. Um, structures are like tables, fields. You need to provide. Now, for the, for the template, those target structures are required structures. They are required, they are, uh, they are required entries within the template, which you must provide information for, right? Mapping has, is associated with mapping the source structures with the target structures. So make sure that the information can, can be replicated when the data migration is done. That's the creation can happen within the SAP s system then of course you can map your various fields, right? So this is done. So I can just provide my you know, username and my password and log into the migration cockpit. Okay. So what's the benefit of LTMC? Um, of course, it's a whole lot. I mean, it's it's easier and uploading of data is, is faster. Um, recording steps is eliminated, which you can find in LSMW. No more, of course, this is not dependent on um, uh, any person or any consultant. Initially, we had we had to use uh, uh, LSMW was quite a robust process, but with this, it's easier. Any person can actually who understand the basics can actually um, you know, migrate data. Um, the functionality is, is available within the Fury app. It's user-friendly, navigation is simple, it's, it's, it's easy to fill the templates and it's reusable, all right? So those are some of the benefits. Okay, so some requirements. LTMC is a legacy transfer migration copy. It's used mainly at the realized phase, of course. We have said that. Um, so what are the various steps you need to adhere to before you migrate data or during the process of data migration, right? We have talked about planning. It's important that you plan. You have to make sure all the relevant data and master data and transactional data are available, right? They have been, they are free from errors. You know, they are worthy business. They are from the business. Business has confirmed their existence. We don't have duplications. You know they are they are the data are reliable and they are relevant. So of course we have um, 
master data or migration activities divided into two categories. You have the master data, you can migrate master data, you can migrate transactional. Master is that like customer, uh, master data, vendor master data, assets, cost centers. Okay, so you can also uh, migrate transactional data, which will be um, customer opening balances, GL line items, asset balances. You know, the essence of this is for the system to continue from where the legacy system stopped, right? So these are why the master data are um, basically information standard data of your business. Transactions are activities that have been carried out, but they are, you're going to bring those out. They're going to come into the system in the form of balances. Okay, so of course, um, let's look at migration. You have the various phases, the preparation phase for your migration. You have the planning and system requirements. So you have to make sure that also in migrating, there are also requirements um, for your migration. You have to make sure you meet those requirements. Um, you have size. So you have to consider the size of the data you're importing, the system consideration, uh, of course, you have to also ensure that the data is clean and the Excel file format you're using is uh, is um, up to date and basically is confirmed from Microsoft. Now maintenance planning it's also very important. Um, if there are any changes, you have to do maintenance on the data. You have to do a side check, check and make sure that um, the data being migrated is um, correct and it's clear from errors. Um, if possible, um, custom codes for migration are generated. Um, so I require some software updates um, during migration. If, for example, the uh, XM file, the Excel file is not updated or it's not an updated version, you might need to do that. Of course, and conversion, um, basically, of course, once the preparation is done, customization is done, data is migrated, and there are activities after migration, right? So basically, you have to, the steps are you have to identify the relevant you know, simulation item, run customizing pre-checks, check for consistency and reconcile data after migration, um, ensure that you know, period end activities are taken into cognizance. Make sure you have good documentations for posting data. And of course, do your archiving. So what are the main finance migration activities? Of course, you have to prepare preparation and migration of customizable objects. Very important. We need to perform certain customizing within various modules. So there is need to um, transport those, right? Um, data migration is also um, one of the core activities within finance. First is customization. Second is data migration. We've talked about the two types of data you can migrate. Then activities after migration. Um, after data migration, when you have set the data migration to complete, there are some activities that you know need to happen. Um, well, you need to make sure that the balances are correct. You need to make sure that the activities um, performed, you know, um, there are no downtimes. Um, you need to check for data accuracy, um, check for data consistency. Those are very, very important activity post migration. So you don't just migrate and ah, I'm successful, but you need to make sure, check those data again, make sure that the relevant data is what has migrated so that, I mean, you don't go live and people are entering transaction in, in wrong, we're using wrong data, right? Like we have said, this is an important step and activity for the business and for the consultants. Okay, so basically this class will not go deeper into, um, this is just an introduction. Um, so run your LTMC, um, and you're going to just a minute. Let me see if I can just provide this. Okay. Okay, so um, once you provide the username and password, it takes you to 
you'll migrate your data, this um, LTMC, um, where you actually migrate your data from, right? So um, what you need to do is to create a project. You can put the project name, let's say, uh, um, let's see, uh, let's say uh, Kelly, let's say FI for RSL. And this is data transfer from from data. Then you can click on this is um, so you have put the name. We are not using staging tables. We're using transfer data from file. Then the mass ID is this. Then you click on create. Um, so this will log you in into the project. Now, now you can see we actually are the project. So um, here you can specify um, which particular data you want to migrate, all right? Um, for now, we don't have any migration objects. Um, I think the business team is still trying to look at it. Um, you can search for things like banks. So if you scroll down, we have banks that's available. We have CEO activity, cost centers. So you can migrate any of this data. Um, let's see, we can also do customer master data. You can do cost centers. Okay, so you can, of course, migrate geo balances. So if, if you click on geo balances, now to just give you a warning, just trying to intimate you of what you're about to do, then you can click on okay, right? And it's going to actually take you to where you are actually, where you're going to download the template you're going to use for your data migration activity. In our next session, we're actually going to use the live data. We'll try to use the live data to do a live data migration. Well, depending on um, that um, data migration, um, so we are going to have real um, samples of data for GL, call center, um, um, customer and vendor master data. We're going to see how to migrate this data live using all these various examples. So now I told the system I wanted to migrate, depending on what you select as your migration object, right? Um, so I've selected GL, FIGL account. That's my migration. So migration object is the kind of data you actually want to migrate, right? And you have download templates and file upload. So like we said, when I was introducing this course, SAP already has predefined templates for which I'm going to download my um, GL from. So uh, all I need to do is to um, download this template, provide the requirement, the migration objects requirements that will be needed for me to upload that information into SAP. So if I go to download templates, of course, it's going to come out in an Excel file. Um, this is XML file. So I'm just going to try to open this. Okay, so I'm seeing, let me run this with, uh, let me see, also of the file formats. Uh, thinking, so it's coming up in Notepad. <laughs> I'm going to actually work on that. Yeah, so you can see this is not proper. So what I would do is to, you know, meet with the business team and check why this is um, actually, you know, downloading in um, notepad format. Actually, this is supposed to download an XML file, which I'm going to use to upload my data. So you can see uh, what I would do, this would not work. I would actually look at this document and make that request. But when the download happens, it will give you requirements. We can show the document here. It will give you a requirement for which you you need to do your download. Um, when you're done with download, you come here and upload the file. It takes you through a series of steps. And a thousand, let's say, for example, GL accounts can be created in less than two, three minutes. Right, so that's that's the robust nature of your migration, you know, um, LTMC. Now we were looking at uh, LTMOM. Um, if there there are fields in these templates, if a particular field is not existing and you want to add those fields, you can do that with LTMOM. But you need to be able to, you know, 
confirm the project. We'll get into details of this training in our next session. This is just mostly an introduction. So never mind, just look forward to you know more training sessions. So I can search. for the particular project. So you can search for projects where you can you know, work on the source codes, ensure that a new line, if you want to develop a new line, or you want to add new line items to your templates and all that. So you can see that the project is up here. So just double click on that. So remember what the modeler, the migration object modeler is used for. It's used to enhance the LTMC. Like I said, if the template, for example, there's a particular line that is not um, available within the template, and um, you actually need to make that available, then you can actually um, do that, basically. So once the object is done, you can go to the um, source structure, right? So these are the available um, the, config, the available technical specifications for the GL. You can go to the source structure um, and add new fields if you want to add new fields to the existing fields. Okay. So we're going to continue with in the um, this is introduction. After this session, we're going to go into real life data migration, right? So you need to stay tuned, right? And uh, stay tuned for more information, stay tuned for, um, you know, the next part of this training. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, remember that, um, the essence of this training, like I said, is to re reinforce your understanding in case you're forgotten, in case you're new to Excel, we actually make you understand this concept. It's, it's very important you understand the, the idea behind every of these concepts, because most times you have consultants who know how to carry out these activities, but they don't understand the basic concepts. They don't know why, they don't know how, they don't know, they know how, but they don't actually understand the mind of SAP, you know, why that act, what that was actually introduced. Okay, so I believe that um, this course has been able to, you know, throw more light into data migration using the various data migration object LTMC and LTMOM. Why not you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know, um, share this information, um, write me on WhatsApp if you have more questions, and feel free to also reach me using my Yahoo channel. Thank you very much for your time. Um, in our next session, we are going to see real life data migration using sample data and see how this, um, see how we can have first-hand information on how to migrate different kinds of data, geo, master data, cost centers, and the rest. Thank you very much for your time and do have a lovely day. Stay safe. It's your SAP consultant. Kelly Chikelia Jelly.